Support comes from the Norton Simon Museum, presenting the film series from canvas to screen on select Saturdays in March. Enjoy a film that captures the drama and beauty of some of history's most celebrated works of art. Kicking off with Dreams by Akira Kurosawa on March 9th at NortonSimon.org. Support comes from Pasadena Playhouse, presenting One of the Good Ones. Meet your new favorite family in this laugh-out-loud, heartfelt story from Gloria Calderon-Kellett, the co-creator and showrunner of Netflix's One Day at a Time. Performances begin March 13th. Tickets on sale now at PasadenaPlayhouse.org. LAS Studios. Today on the L.A. Report, the L.A. City Controller is telling a federal judge he'll audit the key program launched by Mayor Karen Bass to get unhoused Angelinos off the street. Now floating off the coast of Huntington Beach, another oil slick. The Coast Guard is trying to figure out where it came from. And the Chino Valley Unified School Board tweaks a gender ID notification policy that sparked a lawsuit. It's Friday, March 8th. I'm Nick Roman. This is the L.A. Report from L.A. at 89.3. L.A. City Controller Kenneth Mejia says today his office will audit Inside Safe. That's the program launched by Mayor Karen Bass to move unhoused Angelinos into shelter or housing fast. Controller Mejia's announcement comes after U.S. District Court Judge David Carter said yesterday the city of Los Angeles had misled attorneys over promises to clear homeless camps and add shelter beds to each city council district. All of this swirls around the settlement of a lawsuit. Skid Row business interests and advocates for unhoused Angelinos sued the city of L.A., claiming it had done little to solve homelessness. Well, the city settled that lawsuit in 2022 by promising to add thousands of shelter beds and meet district-by-district deadlines for outreach to unhoused Angelinos, plus the removal of street camps. Elizabeth Mitchell is a lawyer for the L.A. Alliance for Human Rights. That's the group that sued the city. She says L.A. is not meeting its promises. This is all about accountability, and we brought this case for accountability. We brought this case to bring people inside off of the streets, and I think today is one more uh, step in that right direction. City Controller Mejia says in a statement that the inside safe audit is needed because the city has shown a lack of transparency and accountability with its work to end homelessness, despite billions of dollars spent. Last year, LAS reported the required spending reports for Inside Safe were missing. There's an oil slick about two and a half miles long, shimmering off the coast of Huntington Beach. Details from LAS reporter Yusra Farzan. Orange County officials, the U.S. Coast Guard, and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife are currently investigating if this is an active oil spill just over a mile offshore. The Emergency Operations Center was activated to allow the coastal cities to quickly coordinate. While the beach remains open, the OC Health Agency is responding to reports of tarballs found mainly in the area of Dog Beach. In 2021, an oil pump line dumped crude oil into the coastal waters, stretching from Bolsa Chica to Corona del Mar. For LA 89.3, I'm Yusra Farzan. Coming up, the Chino Valley Unified School Board tweaks a policy that sparked a lawsuit, and the anime world is mourning the loss of the creator of the Dragon Ball franchise. Support for LAist comes from the Norton Simon Museum, presenting the film series from canvas to screen, capturing the drama and beauty of some of history's most celebrated works of art. Films include Dreams by Akira Kurosawa, Metropolis by Fritz Lang, Days of Heaven by Terrence Malick, and Marie Antoinette by Sofia Coppola. Screenings are at 4.30 p.m. on four consecutive Saturdays starting March 9th. More information at nortonsimon.org. As a homeowner, there are so many ways to level up your property. Install an ADU to generate more income. Remodel your kitchen or bathroom to refresh the space. But if you don't have the right contractors, you could be facing a nightmare. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Realm. Realm is the largest renovation service in California. 
They're here to help you get personalized, trusted guidance for all your home improvement projects, saving you from added stress. With Realm, you'll get an unbiased home renovation advisor who will guide you through every stage of your project. Your Realm advisor will do the heavy lifting for you, match you with triple vetted contractors in your area, guide you through financing options, provide data-driven support and expertise like local cost estimates, permitting, and zoning information, and keep your project on course. There's even a Realm app. It's so easy to use. See your home's current and potential value, prioritize projects according to budget, and track renovation costs right through the app. Remodel stress-free with Realm. Schedule your free meeting with a Realm advisor today. Go to realmhome.com. Mention the LA report during your first advisor meeting for a special offer. Visit realmhome.com and plan your next home project with ease. That's realmhome.com. This is the LA Report. I'm Nick Roman. The Chino Valley Unified School Board last night passed a new version of its gender ID notification policy. LA's reporter McKenna Sievertson says it replaces an earlier policy that had sparked a civil rights lawsuit from the state. Chino Valley School District staff are once again required to notify parents if their child wants to change any information in their official or unofficial student records. It's a similar, slimmed-down version of a previous policy that ended up being blocked in court, but this one doesn't mention gender, biological sex, or bathrooms. Christy Hurst is a Chino parent. She says it's still designed to discriminate against transgender and non-binary students. This board will pass an updated forced outing policy in order to survive a court battle we are paying for and they are losing. But supporters say parents have a right to know what's going on with their kids. For LAist 89.3, I'm McKenna Sievertson. We move the clocks ahead of bedtime Saturday night for daylight saving time. Pediatrician Colleen Kraft at Children's Hospital Los Angeles says... If you're the parent of little kids, well, you can help them adjust by making tonight's bedtime a little bit earlier. Secondly, when you do get up in the morning, make sure you get some morning sun or some outside time because that will help to set your circadian rhythm. Dr. Colleen Kraft also says limit screen time an hour or two before bed to help your kids' brains get ready for sleep. Anime lovers are mourning the death of Akira Toriyama the Japanese creator of the blockbuster Dragon Ball franchise. Its cross-cultural appeal is in clear view in Los Angeles, where LA's correspondent Josie Wong spoke with Mexican-American fans. As a kid, Danny Fernandez embraced Dragon Ball's pure-hearted hero, Goku. With his black spiky hair, he looked Latino to her. And she says, as someone from another world, Goku's storyline resonated with immigrants. That outsider mentality of, I'm going to make it no matter what, I think so many immigrants can relate to that. Fernandez has since hosted two podcasts about Dragon Ball. After Toriyama died, she joined others making online tributes. I was kind of making a joke that he was 100% Mexican too, but everyone was like, yep, that's uh, our hour of Kira Toriyama. They're abuelo, she says, part of the family. For LAist 89.3, I'm Josie Wong. Thanks for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. Be sure to listen this weekend when Julia Paskin brings you the L.A. Report. The L.A. Report is produced by Libby Rainey and Tiffany Ugea. Megan Garvey is the executive editor. Catherine Mailhouse, our director of content development. Our engineer, Tui Mao. Original music by Scott Kelly. We have more about today's stories at LAist.com. You can also listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. You know, listeners like you help make the L.A. Report possible, so please donate at las.com slash join. This podcast is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. Hey, it's Brian, the host of the How to LA podcast. How about we go to the movies? Join us for a 10-part series, Revival House, and discover the magic of LA's indie theaters. Who knows? You might meet someone. I know it sounds antithetical because you're just sitting passively, but in fact, you're connecting with everyone else around you. Subscribe to How to LA from LA Studios wherever you listen to podcasts.